Good evening, mathematicians. Tonight's lesson is lesson 4.12, multi-step division problems. We are working on page 91 in your Go Math book. Let's write the essential question down at the top of page 91. Our essential question is, how do I use the four operations to solve problems with more than one step? Go ahead and write this essential question down and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, friends, we're gonna go ahead and start with number two. Number two says, there are eight pencils in a package. How many packages will be needed for 28 children if each child gets four pencils? This is a multi-step problem. So we're going to go back and we're going to see what do we need, what's our first step? So we know that we have 28 children and each of those children gets four pencils. So we need to find out how many total pencils we're going to need first. We're going to multiply 28 times four and that will give us the total pencils for the children. Four times eight is 32. I drop my two ones and regroup my three tens. Two times four is eight, and eight plus three is 11. So we need 112 pencils altogether. Now, going back to my question, we wanna know if the packages of pencils are put into packages of eight, how many packages will we need? That's our question. So we have 112 pencils and we need to put them into packages of eight. So we'll be dividing 112 divided by eight. Now I'm going to choose to do long division to solve this problem. So we know for our steps for long division, we divide multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. So first we're going to say eight cannot go into one, but it can go into our 11. Eight can go into 11 one time. I just divided. Now I multiply. One times eight is eight. Now I can subtract. 11 minus eight gives me three. Now I check, is three less than eight? Yes, it is. Now I can bring down the next number in my dividend, which is a two, and I made the number 32. So I circle it because I'm going to need it again. Once you bring down, you come back around and we do our steps again. Now I'm going to divide, eight goes into 32, that goes into it four times. Four times eight gives me 32. Now I can subtract, 32 minus 32 is zero. Zero is less than eight, and I don't have any more numbers in my dividend to bring down. So my quotient is 14. So I will have 14 packages of pencils for the 28 children. All right, let's look at number three. Number three says there are three boxes of tangerines. Each box has 93 tangerines. The tangerines will be divided equally among nine classrooms. How many tangerines will each classroom get? Now I know that there are three boxes and each box, every box has 93 tangerines. So first I'm going to find out how many total tangerines there are by multiplying 93 times three. 
3 times 3, that gives me 9. And 3 times 9 gives me 27. So I know that there are 279 total tangerines. Now the rest of the problem reads, the tangerines will be divided equally among the nine classrooms. So I need to take all my 279 tangerines and divide it into nine. I'm going to choose long division strategy, 279 divided by my nine classrooms. I need my steps for a long division so I can make sure that I'm on track. Nine goes into two. Nine goes into two zero times. Let's try nine goes into 27. I know that nine goes into 27 three times because three times nine is 27. Now I can multiply. 3 times 9 gives me 27. When I subtract, I get 0. 0 is less than 9. And I can bring down my next number in my dividend, which is 9. I'm going to circle that 9 because I'm going to need it again. And once you bring down, you come back around and we do our steps again. I'm going to divide 9 into my 9. 9 goes into 9 one time. 1 times 9 gives me 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. 0 is less than 9, and I don't have any more numbers on my dividend to bring down, so that means that my division problem is finished. My quotient is 31. So that means that there will be 31 tangerines given to each classroom. And we solve that by multiplying first to find our total tangerines and then dividing it equally among the nine classrooms. All right, our last problem for the night is number four. Number four says, Misty has 84 photos from her vacation and 48 photos from her class outing. She wants to put all the photos in an album with four photos on each page. How many pages does she need? Well, first I need to find out how many total photos she has. Well, when I go back into my problem, it tells me that she's got 84 photos from vacation and 48 photos from her class outing. That keyword and is telling me that I need to combine my vacation photos and my class outing photos. So I'm going to add 84 plus my 48. And I will get how many total photos she has. Well, 4 plus 8 is 12. I can regroup. 1 plus 8 is 9, and 9 plus 4 is 13. So I have 132 photos. Now, it also says that she wants to place four photos on each page. So I'm dividing my 132 into groups of four. So I'm going to divide 132 divided by four. Now I'm going to choose the repeated subtraction method to solve this problem. So I'm going to need my t-chart and I'm going to subtract and record. Now I'm going to start subtracting from my dividend which is 132. I'm going to subtract multiples of 4. Now the biggest multiple of 4 that comes to my mind is 40. So I'm going to go ahead and start there. I'm going to subtract 40. I know that that is 10 groups 
of 4. And when I subtract, 2 minus 0 is 2. 3 minus 4, I need to borrow for that. 13 minus 4 gives me 9. So now I have 92. I can go ahead and take away another 40, which gives me another 10 groups because 10 times 4 is 40. 2 minus 0 is 2. 9 minus 4 is 5. I'm left with 52, which tells me again that I can subtract another 40. That is another 10 groups. And I'm left with 12. Well, I can't subtract another 40, but I do know that 12 is a multiple of 4. So I can subtract 12. And that is 3 groups of 4 because 3 times 4 is 12. And that leaves me with 0. When I add all of my groups together, I will get 33 as my quotient. So she is going to have 33 pages of photos. All right, friends, our homework tonight is on page 92. You are only doing numbers 1 and 2 on page 92. I want you to pay attention in number 1 that it says that they want 89 blue pansies and 86 yellow pansies. So pay attention to that keyword. And in number 2, it says that there are 7 boxes of cat food and each box has 48 cans. So those are some keywords to pay attention to for your homework tonight. Remember only numbers one and two. Don't forget to assess yourself. Let us know whether you feel like you're a level one novice, level two apprentice, level three practitioner, or a level four expert. Write this down on the bottom of page 91 in your Go Math book. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you tomorrow in class. Have a good night. Bye.